Hello, it's Reef DVM here. We're going to talk about kelk wasser today and how we dose it. To start with, we're going to need some bulk reef supply, lab grade kelk wasser. This stuff is awesome. Truly love it. It's some of the best stuff on the market. Get yourself a funnel like this. We're going to need, need a tablespoon. Um, I dose mine obviously for the 75 gallon tank. And uh, we're going to need a container to mix it in. Glass one works good. I've got a little RODR water left in the bottom of it. We're going to use some vinegar. I know that's a little odd. I know a lot of you aren't really used to doing that. And then, of course, RODI water. Um, I've got two gallon jugs here because we're going to make up a two gallon quantity for my tank. Um, these are the supplies that we need for this project. It's a little different than what most people would use. Um, I use a gas tan with a label on it. The gas can has never been used for gas. And uh, my dose pumps pull out of this and put it into the 75 gallon tank. I do plan, at least at present, to use this kind of setup, but in a much larger fashion for the new reef. My choice, obviously, is to use vinegar. I'll explain that later on. I like distilled white 5% vinegar. Don't get any synthetic. Don't get any apple vinegar. Definitely a high recommendation of mine is the bulk reef supply, high purity coke wasser. This stuff is lab grade. This is the good stuff, folks. So here's how I basically make uh, my kelk wasser. I basically take a glass container with a little bit of RODI water on the bottom of it, and I'm going to take some lab grade, really good bulk reef kelk wasser, and I'm going to take some vinegar and I'm going to put it together. Traditionally, I like to put the vinegar in first. I'm going to use about a third of a cup here. The vinegar helps it dissolve, helps it get rid of um, any impurities that I would have by precipitating out calcium, which I don't want it to become carbonate. It just really works great. I'm not afraid of this method, it doesn't affect my pH, and it works well. I'll explain more details of it later. I'm going to dose this out at two tablespoons for a two gallon mixture. So I'm going to take two level tablespoons of kelk wasser. I'm going to mix it right in with that vinegar. It's going to start instantly dissolving. It's not going to have much for any residue or powder left at the bottom. It works really good. Again, two level tablespoons, that's all we need to make up two gallons. Again, I'll put this on my reef keeper, on my tank. Um, on a dose pump and it'll pump in as needed to keep my pH where I'd like it to so to speak So I'm just going to seal this up. Remember that um, calcium In the form of kelk wasser is obviously kind of potent. Don't get it on your hands skins and stuff like that I'm going to mix this up a little bit. It goes into solution very very quickly Notice I'm not going to shake the crud out of it I don't want to introduce a lot of co2 bubbles and and cause it to precipitate however with the vinegar It won't do that if at all. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit and then I'm probably going to just take the cover off here. See, it looks really nice. Um, it's all clean. There's no precipitate left at the bottom. Again, my glass jar, obviously not the cleanest, but I use it all the time. I'm going to add my RODI water. I have two one-gallon jugs here, so it's already measured out for me. It just makes it easier, especially for the sake of doing this video. I just like to pour it in kind of down the side. Again, I don't want to introduce a lot of bubbles and a lot of air. Um, don't want to cause any more precipitation than I need to. This way it stays nice and milky and works really good. I'm going to take it and I'm going to dump it into my uh, tank here. I do have my tank labeled with my dose. I do have the name on the tank. That way I never get it confused. And this equipment that I'm using here is always just used for my reef tank. So we just pour it in as we're doing here. It fills rather nicely. It's, it's really easy to do this way. I don't have to worry too much about getting the junk at the end in because it's all mixed up. There's no precipitate, no calcium carbonate, just the way I like to do it. The um, vinegar is an acid base and it will not change your pH. If you don't believe me, you'll have to try it. But really what happens is, is it interacts with the, the calc wasser and ends up creating um, calcium free ions, which is great because that's just what you want. I'm mixing here a little bit of RODI water to get the last of it out of my jar. I'm going to pour that in here. And as you know, I've got to add one more jug here, so you're going to see me add both. I've tried a lot of kelk wassers over the time. Um, this happens to be my, my favorite product from BRS or Bulk Reef Supply. I've done my own testing on it. I've tried mixing my own batches and seeing which ones go into RODI water the easiest. Um, this one is by far the best one that I've come across. As far as the RODI water, I make my own, so I just put it in these two gallon, basically old apple cider um, containers so that I know exactly how much kelk wasser I have. At the end of the video, I'm going to, you know, do some typing for you and I'll, I'll show you kind of my whole thought process the best I can on using the vinegar and the kelk wasser. 
Again, I don't think this has done much, and I really think the case is because most people are scared of adding it to their tank. They're worried it's going to kill off their reef or hurt their fish or change their pH. But again, if you do some simple chemistry, you realize that the vinegar is truly used up in the process of chemically reacting with the kelk wasser. And by the time that I've actually got it into this gas tank as such right now, this kelk wasser is in perfect shape. Um, it's got a pH of 12 and it's all set to go. It's in suspension. There's no calcium carbonate precipitates out. It's completely mixed up. I've got a nice, highly saturated, free ion um, calcium solution there, which is ready to go into my tank. It's going to feed my corals. Now, obviously, you have to watch your level of calcium in your tank, but in my case, I need a high level of calcium because of all the um, SPS corals, so this works really good for me. I just really think that more people would probably embrace this if they just understood the chemistry a little bit better. So at the end of my video, I'll try and do some typing, and I'll put it on uh, more of a PowerPoint here for you so you can see kind of my thought process and see my highlights of this video. So basically, this is all mixed up. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go over and add it to my tank. I'll show you how it sits. I'll show you the dose pumps here in a second. This is how it works. It's that simple. It takes me all of about five minutes to do. This tank will probably last me the whole entire week. Um, sealed up like this, it does a great job. So those are my two dose pumps, my two um, plumbed wires that go down to the tank from it, and it's sitting on my shelf. This is what I like. Here's a shot of my Digital Aquatics uh, Reef Keeper. As you can see, it's working great. I'm real pleased with this. I'll let you guys go. Enjoy my notes. Thank you.